So we have another external probe that we can connect to the box. This is our heart rate sensor. A um, little different to the other sensor that we've used in that there's an additional connection. So we'll just connect into there firmly and the other end will go into one of those holes that we've seen on top of the log box previously. And instantly if we pop over to the screen display we'll see we now have a fourth sensor detected by the log box telling us the pulse rate average over a period of time. And at the moment as it's not actually plugged onto anybody it's just recording a base level of one. So let's remind ourselves about removing, hiding the distractions. So we'll hide away the temperature and the light and the sound so that we can just focus on our pulse rate. And so just as a quick check to see how if our pulse rate is, sensor is working well let's just take the actual sensor and pu put it on somebody's finger okay and just there it is just pinched across the finger there to detect blood flowing through and we do have a figure being displayed and varying slightly to indicate that we have an average beat pulse rate of around about 60 beats per minute at this rate and if we suddenly <coughs> give a little bit of a fright to our guinea pig there with the pulse rate the pulse rate did shoot up very quickly hitting nearly 70 and is now starting to calm down a little bit although our suspect might be under a little bit of stress at this moment in time, wondering what's happening next as his heart rate starts to go through the ceiling. And so we've had a look at a number of experiments and using the logbox software in terms of you now have the skills, so it's now time to start investigating in our real life contexts. Sadly I can't bring my real house in, so here is our model house and we can start exploring various questions in terms of the properties of our house. Let's take a look inside this des res and we have an interesting heating source in the base of the box. So I wonder just how effective that heater is for heating throughout the whole of the house. Heat, temperature. We can use our log box temperature sensors to monitor the temperature throughout the house. Let's take one external probe and around the back of the house we can insert the probe to capture the temperature in the living room where the heater is. And I'll just connect that particular sensor to our log box. Now let's take another temperature sensor and let's just see what happens to the temperature upstairs because of that heater. So that probe can go in an upper hole to record the temperature in the bedroom. And let's connect that log sensor to our log box. And of course we can actually connect a third sensor to you to replace our internal sensor in the log box. So another temperature sensor goes into our log box. And let's, for this instance, let's just check out to see what happens in the downstairs room next to the room that had the heater in. So in goes my temperature sensor in there. And if I come back round to have a look inside, see that we have our 
heater ready to establish just some little cat light lights there and we can see our three temperature probes ready to start collecting through the software so your challenge now would be to set up the software to just capture three temperature sensors and collect the data through continuous logging not through snapshotting best of luck